so what is going on guys today i'm going to show you how to scale down and scale up with round corners like 24k john and kuda so this is actually a popular uh, effect you normally see in their videos and today i'm going to recreate this so with this i'm going to show you two method of doing that so for the manual method this is what you're going to do make sure this is your clip and just make a shape select your shape and make a shape here so make sure you have a stroke turn off and with the shape the fill you can uh, choose any color you want all you have to do is now let's go to scale scale this down so that we can see our roundness so go to your roundness go to your shape properties here and make sure you increase the roundness just like this so make sure you have your roundness set to at least 100 now just uh, duplicate your video Control d and send it to the top and make sure you you have toggle switches and mode on so toggle switches and modes if you're on the slide here just click on toggle switches and mode so you have this track mat just a uh, hold this and drag it to your shape and you can see we have uh the shape here and all we have to do is just animate this so what we have to do is now create a new null so i'll create a null and i will just select my video and my shape and just parent this to my null and now just hit on s for scale on your null scale this up like this and make a keyframe move in time and scale this down so we're going to get something like this this is very slow so i'll just drag my keyframe here highlight it easy ease make a, a graph so we're going to get something like this uh, make sure you make another keyframe then move in time again and now when it gets to this side here we're going to scale it up again so at the end this is what we'll get so you can play with your keyframes go to your graph and now make this graph like this So let's play this. Well, actually, this is the manual way of doing it if you don't have these plugins. Uh, so now let me show you how to use plugins to achieve this very fast. So now let's go back to our video. Let's delete this. And with the video, turn on the video so uh make sure you go to your effect and preset and you search for this but i'll be using the fx console so just search for uni that's universe shape shape wipe so you are going to you are going to use the universe shape wipe hit on it it's going to create a star and we are not going we don't need the star so just go to your shape and change it to square now go to your shape option here and make sure we play with the roundness but before we do that make sure you turn off the stroke and put the rotation speed to zero and now uh, toggle the reverse and now let's go to the mix here and turn it to zero and make a keyframe for the mix go in time again and set it to like uh like so like 19 let's go for 15 and now let's go to our shape option and now let's play with our weight and a rounding so for the rounding you can just play with the rounding just like this so hit on you so we play this so select your keyframes so highlight your keyframe is easy go to your graph make this a uh, sharp graph like this now make a keyframe go to some few frames and go to our mix and make sure you turn it to zero and let's play this so with this uh you can go to your keyframe and uh, your keyframe and go to your graph make this graph like this you can turn or you can turn on motion blur so if you play this okay so this is uh the first plugin to use now let's go to the second plugin the second plugin is called effect mat so i'll call my fs console 
then i'll go to effect math so i'll be using this make sure enable visual guide is turned off now let's go to our expansion and let's play with the expansion so we, uh, let's play like this so make sure we go to roundness to increase the roundness you can also play with our top left so now uh, go to your expansion so let's make the expansion like this negative 25 and let's increase the roundness so we'll have the roundness to be like this and now uh, make a keyframe hit you send your keyframes here and now reset this so we're going to get something like this and now go to uh, some frames here and make another keyframe now go to the end and now let's also reset this again so highlight your keyframes is it is now go to your graph and we're going to make a graph like this so now let's play this so you can extend your keyframes uh, to the duration you want You can also use the bcc let me show you how to use the bcc plugin too so now let's go here delete uh our plugin now add rectangle so use uh the bcc uh, class bcc plus rectangle wipe select this and now let's start playing with the values here go to our animation go to manual and always make sure you invert this and make sure you go to your softness turn it to zero and now go to your percent done so send it to now let's make a keyframe for the percent down and also let's increase the roundness so we have our roundness to be like this so go some few frames and increase this to like this hit you push your keyframes here we're going to play this we can see from here so for here let's go to our scale override i'm going to scale this like this and if we play this you can see from here now make another keyframe then now go to the end and let's go to our percent down and bring it to zero again and highlight your keyframes is it ease go to your graph and if we play this this is what we will get here so you can uh position your keyframes to the duration you want this effect to 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 have so okay guys so this is how you can actually create this type of uh, effect uh make sure you subscribe to my channel you give me a comment you like my video there's more tutorials coming guys so make sure you also join my discord and check my pay hip i just uploaded some few effect there so thank guys for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video peace